Welcome back from that break, and it's good to know you have rejoined us on the program. Good morning, Abuja, showing only on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5, Abuja. And on to our very first conversation on the program uh, this morning, we are going to discuss the effect of social media on parenting and relationship. And I have a relationship therapist with us in the studio to do justice to this topic before us. Help me welcome Barista Achonu Love to the program. Thank you. You're Thank welcome you, to the program. Thank you, ma'am. Honored to be here. Thank All right. you. It yes, will also interest you to know that uh, my guest this morning is a founder of Love Panel Nigeria, an online platform where people are educated on having good relationship lives. And currently, he is the executive director of Teddy Help Foundation. Yes, wow. Yes, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome once again to the program. Thank you. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So the topic before us this morning is the effect of social media on parenting and relationship, to be precise. Yes. Now we know what uh, all of us are doing yes. on the social media. Yes. Both the young, the old, everyone. That place is choked yes. and we are all there yes. and the effect is enormous mm. what can we do okay first of all i would love to say that um, the advent of the social media world is a very good one but along the line is becoming more harmful okay. not just to uh, individuals but to institutions as a whole and i'll explain that okay. today we we see that the social media world is now becoming more of like the real world it's like mm. a world on its on own its entirely own. Yeah. where you see people um, a poor person is rich online yeah um, um, a sad person is happy online sure and so today we have opposites we have uh, people's identity the opposite of their identity in real life we have the opposite of that mm. on the social media world so the social media space on its own is not bad however what goes there mm. the motive behind what it's put out there and the reaction people get from there and how we use it how we use yes. it how we use it is is very 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 important, important. For instance, I was asking a friend yesterday, I said, what is the wisdom or why is it that um, you see ladies these days, they just come on, on their status or on their, on their timeline and all the what they just is just dance, you know. And then when they dance like that and they don't get that reaction mm. or they don't get that um, engagement, they, want, they feel so sad, they feel so depressed. So until we, we, we get to know the place of reality mm. and then the place of the cyberspace, mm. this, eh, until we are able to differentiate that, we would keep having people who are happy online, but in reality they are sad, and we we'll keep having, mm. um, um, how would I put it now, we we'll keep having a um, bulk number of mm. people, people who are depressed mm. in real life. Exactly like what you said, that pl uh, the, the social media uh, place is a place that everyone everyone is, is there is there now uh, recently government uh, contemplated a social bill mm. uh, which so many frown at yes. <laughs> what is your view when okay. it comes to that <laughs> the social <laughs> media bill yes. and all that well i would say it's a very good one yeah but the truth is nigeria is not ready for it yet <laughs> are you sure we're not we ready are not ready, ready. for it is the truth okay. nigeria is not ready for it okay now, um, forget the fact that the social media world today, people use it to bully others and the rest. But you get to know that there are a lot of things, a lot of secrets, a lot of revelations that we've gotten as a result of people's engagements, mm. people's um, outburst and outcry mm. on the social media space. For instance, how can um, the average Nigerian who is staying in somewhere like... Um, Ankwa local government be held by the government easily. Of Kogi State. Of Kogi State, so yes. Of Kogi State, right. yes. How can they be held easily by the government? It's through the social, the media. social media. You get. So it is very, very easy, like in the last election where there were uh, violence and the rest, you know, the social media played a role, even though it played both negative and positive role, but it played a role into uh, making Nigeria um, updated with what was happening. Okay. At that point, in time mm. so this bill that they brought it's not it's not bad but nigeria is not ready for it secondly to an extent it's going to encroach on people's right to freedom of speech mm. now let me say this also and um, i think i stand to be corrected but this bill is political 
Wow. Because it stands to defend the interests of the government. Well, that is your view. Anyway. That is my view. Okay. Yes, that is my view. Okay, let's now narrow it down to the topic before us, okay. the effect on parenting. Now, yes. uh, the parents are there on social media, mm. uh, thereby relieving their responsibility to the, 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 the house help. Mm. The effect is on the children. Mm. What do we do? The truth is, I was speaking at a seminar one time and I said that only God knows the generation of kids that are going to come up after, after this one. Hmm. Because a lot of time, parents don't even have time again for their children. Sure. So social media is training their children hmm. for them, showing them what they should do. You see children of 13, 12, they're on TikTok already. Sure. And because of that, they go out there and they see other children who maybe as a result of contents and the rest out there on, this, on, on the internet. And then they begin to feel mm. that their life should go in that direction. Mm. And then they begin to feel, okay, um, I should be able to wear this, I should be able to wear that. And then they tie their self-worth mm. to um, wanting to appear like someone else. Someone else. So what that is going to do is, we are going to have, if care is not taken, we are going to have a, uh, um, um, a society where morality is nothing anymore. Okay, how can this be reduced, at least to the barest minimum, barest now that we are here with it? The truth is, parents have to go back to the drawing board, make out time mm. for their children. Okay. Let's know where um, the internet comes in. Mm. Uh, the truth is, school will not teach your children everything. Mm. The first place a child should learn from should be from the home. Mm. When they get to school, the teacher in school will only um, polish what they've been taught from home. So the, uh, just like the old saying goes, charity begins at, at home. home. What they don't get to know at home, mm. what you don't tell them, if another person feeds them with it, they are going to take it. But what you tell them from the house, from the home, mm. is what they will grow up with. Even the Bible makes us to understand that. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. So the home should be, the parents should first of all focus on their children, knowing that every child that comes into this world is a seed. And we, we will give account, or mm. they will give account, mm. either directly or indirectly. Well, we're going on this quick break. When we return, we'll continue on this subject topic before us this morning the effect of social media on parenting and relationship don't go anywhere good morning abuja continues do you want to have your say on television are you interested in airing your views do you want to send greetings to your loved ones or do you want to make musical requests for your beloved do you want to showcase your products and services for all these and more Join us live every Sunday at 1.30 p.m. on The Sunday Show. The Sunday Show will give you opportunities weekly to know more about trending things and topical issues. The Sunday Show, your indispensable companion every weekend. Welcome back and we are still here in the studio looking at social media uh, the effect of social media on parenting and relationship. And our, our relationship therapist is still here with us. Okay. Thank you, Ma. Before we went on break, we were talking about uh, the concentration of parents and children on social media. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we channel uh, this concentration on both parents and children to a positive one? Okay. Like I said, social media came to make life easy, mm. not to complicate it. So we first of all have to understand the place of social media and why is there um, an avenue mm. or call the internet or something like that. Number one, the internet was created so that it could bring people who are far closer. Together. It could expose yeah. us to more knowledge, but that's not the case today. The internet is being abused on a daily basis. So number one, if at all, this must be channeled into positive um, energies, let me use that way. Yeah. Then first of all, we have to know the place of social mm -hmm. media. Number two, we have to set our priorities mm. right. Family first, is it family first? Mm. Or the internet first? Is it self-evaluation or people's, um, how like, uh, let me not say accreditation, mm. or people's um, applause? Mm. 
Is that what you look at? So priorities matters first. If your family, if your child is important to you, you would pay attention to that mm. child. It's so it's so um, this uh, this happening that these days people wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is they pick up their phone. phone. They don't have very first they thing. Have, I'm telling you. And then it's some of them is after they have gone through their their Facebook, their WhatsApp, and then they remember, oh, I'm still alive. I've not even said, God, thank you for thank today. you for the day. So you can imagine such a person wow. by the time they grow up, the child can be in danger, mm. and then they are not even paying attention. The child can be doing something else that is endangering their lives and then they're not even paying attention. You see children, they say this one drowned, this mm. one drowned. Check most of the time. The attention. the attention of the parents were not really there. We're not really there. So if we must have that same society mm. that we used to have in those, in days, those days, then we have to place our priorities okay, right. right. Let's know when it's time for social media. Let's know when it's time for family. Until we do that, we'll keep having moral decadence mm. in the society. Mm. We'll keep having confusion and life will become more complicated mm. because we'll be having different versions of children coming out with different mindset. Why? Because what they are getting outside, they're more exposed to mm. the outside world than the house. A situation whereby you see parents come and then the mother is on the phone, father is on the phone, the child is doing the homework by, mm, and then the child now has a tab that can just go on YouTube. It's so shocking to know that. And from there, and they are exposed. And they are exposed to a lot yes. of things. So for us to mm. get back or get it right, let's know the use of these things. Mm, the use of then this secondly, thing. let's set our priorities right. Okay, in setting our priorities right, mm -hmm. now um, let's talk about relationships. Okay. We often talk that... Uh, when you are in a relationship and both of you put the whole of your attention mm. on social media, mm. the effect is enormous. Mm. Now, the effect of the social media on relationship. <laughs> very, very good. Now, I, 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 I was saying something the other time. I think I wrote it down. Okay, let me even talk about... Now, people who don't post their relationships online, I made a research and I discovered that they are most times 11% happier yes. in that relationship mm. than those who put their relationship out there. Mm. Um, there's, this uh, there's this language people say, mm. pepe them, <laughs> to pepe people with relationships that you don't even know the future yet. Mm. You know? Now, the, the, the effect of social media on uh, relationship is that it creates unrealistic expectations unrealistic expectations unrealistic expectations you see people okay i think a, a, a well-known billionaire just did his birthday few uh, yesterday or some or yes yesterday or so and i was seeing young ladies my friends they're just posting and then i was waiting to see why were they posting and, and they don't have any relationship with the, with that person they don't and then the major thing I found out that most of them posting, they were not just posting to say, okay, happy and wedding anniversary. <laughs> the whole thing they just saying was, God when, God when, God when what? Uh, when their own will come. You see? And so it puts some of these ladies under pressure. pressure. And instead of growing through process, they mm. just want to arrive. Oh. So you have a lot of ladies who are living in unrealistic, with unrealistic uh, mindsets. Mm. So they are trying to get... Um, uh, married to someone that is already married because every person that is married today was once a raw material mm. that either of the partners had to work on for them to become the finished products that they are today that we envy today mm. so you see people just come online and then they, they, are, they, are, they are cuddling the posts they are doing this number one it exposes you even to enemies People who don't even like the relationship in the first place. And they will do everything to stop it. You see people go out on, on a date. You don't even know how. And then I even discovered that some of these stunts that they, they put out there on social media are actually content creators. They just do that to get money. And then you see people sit down, buy data. And copy people, <laughs> people's content. Copy people's oh, content no. and then try to replicate it in real life. And then when the young man cannot do it mm. or the young woman cannot meet up such expectations, mm. they tell you, this person doesn't love me. They tell you, be where you are. 
you are you are you are loved mm. where you are this no we are getting it wrong mm. now mm. Uh, before i let you go your yes. final words on what we need to do as parents to make our our children eh, reduce the stay on social media to the barest minimum and what to do on our relationship to ensure we set our priorities right like you said okay to answer question number one they say examples communicate principles mm. Um, I discovered that children copy what they see their parents. Sure. <laughs> so, if you want your children to be to be good, you have to show them that you are You're good. good. If you see children that grew up uh, beating their wives, their, their kids that actually saw their dad, so they felt it's part of mm. the whole process. And my dad said, he loves my mom but beats her. So I feel that is an expression of love too. Even though in the real sense of it, that is domestic violence. violence. So parents, first of all, have to become perfect examples mm. to their children. Mm. Then question number two. For relationship to work, number one, we have to understand that relationship is not a secret, but keep it private. Mm. Secondly, whatever you put out there on social media the internet never forgets number three how they many keep people reminding they keep you uh, every year <laughs> number three uh. i keep saying this when i'm addressing people how many lips are you going to kiss before you finally settle down wow because the issue with people who are too conscious of social media is that for every of their relationships they want to put it out there so if you have five relationships that broke that happened and then broke. Does it mean every five of them, you upload them, you upload them. And the truth is, social media can be very funny. Mm. If you upload, they'll tell you, oh, beautiful couple, blah, blah, blah. When you break up, everybody mind. Their business. Their business. So you have to understand that nobody cares mm. what you do with your relationship life. It is left for you. If your relationship life works out very well, people celebrate you. Mm. If it works out bad, the same people who says, Lord, Lord, will be the same people to shout, crucify him. Mm. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. all your time to talk to us extensively on this topic, Thank the you. effect of social media Thank on parenting ma. and relationships. Mm. We do really appreciate your time. Thank you, ma. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, we have been speaking with a relationship expert, Barista Achonu Love, and together we looked at the effect of social media on parenting and relationships. And he has told us a lot. He said we need to set our priorities right. Please, let's ensure we do that. Now, let's go on this quick break.